Welcome to the Code with Reza channel. My name is Reza and I'm here to teach you Python. Today, I want to talk about working with databases in Python using SQL Alchemy Core. For this video, let's create a new virtual environment. Virtual environments help us to have separate environments and install the required dependencies in one environment without affecting other environments. First, we need to install pip. For installing the pip, just go to your terminal and say pip python3. I will type it slowly so that you can do it with me. Dash m pip install user up great pip. I have done that, so I'm not doing it anymore now. So this is how you do it. Pip install user upgrade pip. Once you have done that, then we need to install the virtual environment. For installing the virtual environment, we need to do Python 3 dash m pip install user virtual env. After we install the virtual environment, then we need to create our virtual environment for this video. So what we do is write Python 3-m vnv sql alchemy workspace, and then enter. Once you created the workspace, you need to then if you do a ls you can see that your uh, workspace your virtual environment is here sql academy workspace sql alchemy workspace so we need to first go into the workspace and we need to activate our virtual environment. How do we activate once we are in the workspace, in the environment? We need to say source bin activate. This is how we activate our virtual environment. When we want to, once we finish everything, if you want to deactivate it, we just say deactivate. Now let's activate it again and close this. Let's go to the code. What we are going to do today is uh, SQL Alchemy has two different parts. One of them is core, the other one is ORM. ORM is object relational mapping mode, but today I want to show you the first one, which is the core. In the next video, I will talk about the ORM. So for, for that, we need to do some imports. So from SQL Alchemy, import column, integer, and text. Again, from SQL Alchemy, import create engine, and from SQL Alchemy, import table and metadata. Let's start with creating the engine, which is the first thing that we need to do. So we say engine equals create engine and we want to use SQL Lite database so we say SQL Lite three forward slashes and the name of the DB cars DB and we'll say with engine we need to connect using the engine so the connection starts 
using the connect method for on the engine as connection and the reason that we use with is because we want the connection to be closed all the time in the right way and properly so we don't when we use with we don't need to close it ourselves so we'll say metadata equals metadata and we pass engine create the metadata and the first thing is creating our table so we want to create users table so we say users table equals we need to create an instance of a table class the name of the table i want to say users we pass the metadata and we specify the columns so i i want three columns here the first one is id so i would say column id the name of the column the type of the column integer and i want to say this is primary key true so this column is a primary key now the next column is name so this is the name of the column which is name the type is text and another column here is email the type is text and for generating this table we say metadata dot create all this line will execute and create this table for us now that we have the table let's do insert some insertions i will say insert statement equals the name of the table here the variable which shows our table so we say user table but we call the insert function on that and we pass the values that we want to insert so i will pass a list the first one is an object name for example reza email for example reza at gmail.com this is not my email just saying for, in, for example and then another object another row this time the name is ali and the email is ali at gmail.com so we have two rows to insert how do we insert it we have the insert statement we have created the statement now we need to execute it so we call the connection that execute and we pass the statement insert statements done how do we see the result we can say print after insert or insertion we can because we need to uh, query this table a couple of times in different parts of the code i will create a method for that a function for that and then we call the function so for example i would say the function is so all show all and i'll pass the connection to that and let's create this function here on top so i will say define show all and we get connection there is a select statement this is how we query the user table we have a user table we instead of insert now we call select and we say we need only the first 10 results now we execute connection to execute is select a statement and the result 
we put it into the results variable. Now we look through the results and we print the result. So what's happening is we created the statement. The statement just a select on the whole table and gets the 10 records. And then we execute it. The results is in the results. And then we loop on the results and we print each result. In here, in the code, after we do the insertion, we call this show all so that we can see the record in the table to see if the insert statement was successful or not. We can also create another, we can do another select, which is a little bit more advanced select. So I would say select statement. I just want to show you that you can do it in this way. So the user's table select. If you do this, it selects all the table, but we want to wear clause. So once we call the select, then we say dot where, where, when the email is, for example, res at gmail.com. So we say users table dot column dot email equals to res at gmail.com. In case we do a query on this user's table and we get the records where the email column is equal to Reza complete, sorry, Reza at gmail.com. Now, what is the result? The result set or the result is we need to say connection.execute select a statement. And we say print only reza at gmail.com record. And then we loop in result set. We'll say print record. So what happens is first we do have a show all, which shows all the records in the table, which is two records, Reza and Ali. Then we select only on records that the email is Reza at Gmail, which returns only one record. Now let's continue with update. Now we want to update a record. You want to? It will say update statement equals user tables dot now instead of insert or select now update where users tables dot column dot email equals reza at gmail.com so it says update this table which record go and find the record which the email is reza complete and what to do after that then it says updated with these values let's say email equals instead of reza make it Ahmadi, my surname, at gmail.com. It's a little bit complicated, so you need to be careful. We update the table where we are interested in this line, in this record, and how do we update it with these values? Change the email to this. And again, we need to say connection to execute update statement okay we want to see what happens after the updated statement so we say after update we call our function 
show all and we pass the connection to see all the data in the table and we did insert we did select we did update now let's do delete so we have a delete statements this time again user tables but this time delete now where where user tables user table dot column which column email equals ali at gmail.com so this time we want to remove the record how do we do that again connection that execute delete statement and let's see the database again print after delete and show all and pass the connection okay so let's look at it again we create a table users table we insert two records Reza and Ali we show both of them we show only Reza we update we change the email for Reza from Reza at gmail.com to Ahmadi at gmail.com and at the end we delete Ali so Ali shouldn't be there for running this we don't don't run it from the IDE come to your virtual environment your workspace and say python 3 and the name of your python file okay so if you look at here the cars db is created for us which is our database and in here after our insertion we have two records this is the output of our show all method so it shows reza and ali too then we did a query on only reza at gmail.com record which the response is only one record which is reza then we updated reza email to ahmadi and if you look at the records here the reza email has changed to ahmadi at gmail.com and at the end we deleted ali and if you look at the result ali is not here anymore so in this part i talked about how to interact with the database using sql alchemy core in the next video i will show you how to use sql alchemy orm when interacting with databases please do not forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and see you later.